The last time we tasted vanilla, we preferred pure vanilla extract over imitation vanilla. But in 2017, a cyclone wiped out a huge portion of the vanilla crops in Madagascar, which means that the natural stuff is now very expensive. So Jack's here to help us reevaluate our options. Yeah, this is a fascinating taste test. You know, you think, how could an imitation product possibly compete with the real mm -hmm. deal? But one area where it's the clear winner is cost. If you pick our favorite imitation, it is 12 cents an ounce. If you pick our favorite pure vanilla extract, it's $3.25 an ounce. Wow. And so it's 21 times more expensive. And wow. so, you know, you really need to decide not only can you taste the difference, mm -hmm. but are you willing to pay for the difference? That's it. So let's answer the first question. I brought vanilla pudding. Ooh, yum. So the reason why we do pudding is because we don't really cook the vanilla. Mm -hmm. So we did two rounds with all of the different brands with pudding and frosting. Mm -hmm. We then took our favorite imitation and our favorite pure vanilla and did some baking tests. We made cookies and we made cake. But I'm giving you the pudding because I think it's a really easy way to see the difference. Pure vanilla extract is, you know, plant material. Uh, it's a hand-pollinated orchid. It is a artisanal product and you are paying for that. The imitation, most of these are petroleum-based. That doesn't sound that appealing, It does doesn't, it? actually, and it, that's why people have a problem with it. Yeah, and they add flavor compounds. Sometimes they add caramel color so that it looks like vanilla extract. Some brands may even add some other flavors to it. Mm -hmm. And so even if you like the way it tastes, there is a question about, do you want to be buying the small farm artisanal product, or do you want to buy the thing that's made from petroleum? <laughs> well, when you put it that way. Yeah, but the question is, can you taste the difference? A couple things I want you paying attention to. Mm -hmm. How much vanilla flavor is there? Yeah. We actually measured this. We sent them all out to labs, hmm. and we were looking for this compound. It's called vanillin, and it's the thing that we recognize as vanilla flavor. Mm -hmm. And some of the brands had 20 times more of this compound. Second thing is that the imitation extracts are just using one flavor compound. The real deal has 250 different flavor compounds. And it can be sort of divided in our tasting panel. Some people love the complexity. You get woody notes, floral notes. Other people just want this one flavor compound that we recognize as the primary dominant flavor compound in vanilla. Last thing is booziness. Huh. So pure extract by law must be 35% alcohol. And you're going to taste the booze here. The imitation stuff does not need to have any alcohol. And so in some cases, you get pure vanilla flavor without the alcohol competing with it. Mm -hmm. So anything that you're noticing mm -hmm. about the flavor here? I've eaten a lot of pudding, which is delicious, by the way. And I have to say, I liked them all. There wasn't one that I wouldn't be happy with if I had at home. But there were two that stood out to me. These two had a very strong flavor to me. And I preferred this one. This one tasted a little bit sweeter. But I also loved this one. And when you were talking, you said that there was an alcoholic sort of flavor. And I definitely got that from here, along with some nuanced complexity. So these two were my favorite. I loved this. This one had a strong flavor. And this one was just fine. Yeah, so I'm hearing two things. They're all fine. Mm -hmm. And the second thing I'm hearing is, you like the most expensive ones. Oh, really? These two? <laughs> Let's start with this guy. <laughs> so this is one of the pure extracts. It's Morton and Bassett. We liked it fine. It wasn't our favorite of the pure extracts. You liked it. I and loved it. it tastes like vanilla. There you go. This is the Simply Organic. Ah. This was actually, of the tasting panel, their favorite among the pure extracts. It has a nice, clean, strong yeah. vanilla flavor. Yep, lovely. And this one, which had a really potent flavor. So this actually has two sources of vanilla flavor. Ah. The real deal is supplemented with imitation. Oh, so it's a blend. Yeah, it's a twofer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and this last one, which I also thought was lovely. Our favorite imitation. This is Baker's. Ah. It won the overall taste test, and it is by far the least expensive. It is the one that is 12 cents an ounce. Oh, wow, so this one is a bargain. A real bargain. All right, so there you have it. If you don't mind imitation vanilla, go for the Baker's imitation vanilla extract, which is just 98 cents for an eight ounce bottle. Or if you wanna stick with the real stuff and don't mind paying a little bit more, go with the Simply Organic Vanilla Extract, which is $12.99 for four ounces. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.